Hi everyone, I'm Stephen and welcome to Audio Nautica. I've got a new project on the bench. This is one of those Chinese Marantz 7 clones that you get on eBay. This one belongs to a friend of mine, FB, and it's been sitting around for a while unbuilt. And so it's come to me to put this thing together. So basically it came as a kit with everything that's needed in theory to build a Marantz 7 clone. And this is going to be a, a multi-video project. So today is the overview just to show you what this is all about. And then as I build each sub-module, I'll break it up into different videos for each of those. So if we just have a look um, at the, the overall chassis and the, the front panel design. So I've made a few little modifications at um, FB's request. So these LED indicators are new. Um, you can see my drilling is not exactly perfect, but um, hopefully they should look okay. This um, power LED, there was a hole there, but there wasn't any mounting arrangement for an LED. So this is the same as these. So that's the front panel. Um, this is the selector switch that will go in here. So basically that's just um, four contact closures that will sh um, short some relay coils to ground. So four relays to select the inputs. And then this is the attenuator that comes with the kit. So that will get mounted in there for the volume control. So that's pretty much all there is to see on the front panel. If we turn it around. So here's the rear panel. So yeah, four inputs and that's the output. I'm not actually sure what this is for. It doesn't actually connect to anything. Maybe it might be for a phono option. I'm not sure. This kit didn't come with a phono board. So at this stage, I don't believe these are gonna be connected to anything, but there you are. So yeah, fuse, mains input. So that's pretty much everything that there is to see in the chassis on the outside. Now let's have a look at the inside and we'll be able to see the overall plan for what this is going to look like. Okay, so now if we have a look inside. So this is the general... Let's move that guy out of the way. This is the general layout. So these voltages are just connected to this terminal strip just for now, just for the purposes of testing them. But basically you've got 12.6 volts AC and this one here is the 200 volt AC. That's the only taps that are needed. So they will go into this board, which is the actual Marantz 7 the Marantz 7 clone board itself, and it has got its own voltage regulators which are down here. So there's a couple of bridge rectifiers here. And so that will make a regulated heater voltage and a regulated HT voltage. So the, the valves or the tubes is 312AX7, so I just sort of have this one just sitting here just to check the geometry as I've got everything mounted in. Um, it did come with some valves, they're pretty cheap looking Chinese ones, so I'll use these for testing. I don't actually have any 12AX7s myself, but I'm sure that FB will put in some new 12AX7s because um, I wouldn't really want to be using those ones for anything more than testing. So, so that's your 12AX7 board. So it comes with bags of parts. Uh, I think this is basically most of the parts for the 12AX7 board plus the, the tube sockets and the tubes and there's some heat sinks floating around somewhere as well. So that's the preamp board. This board here is the input selection board. So it supports uh, four inputs but it can support one balanced input. So in this application I won't be using the balanced input, it'll just be four single-ended inputs so that'll make the wiring a little bit simpler and there's just a ribbon cable that will run from this connector here 
over to here, which is where our, um, our input selector will be mounted on the front panel. It'll be, well, it'll be there, obviously, on the inside. So yeah, that'll be there. Ribbon cable will run over there. And this here is a 555 timer board. Basically what it's designed to do is just give a little time delay before connecting the, the audio. So there's just a single relay which will go here. So you get a bag of parts here. That's the bag of parts for the 555 board. This is the bag of parts for the relay board. So at this stage, my plan is, is I'll make a video for making up each one of these sub modules and testing each sub module. And then possibly if I need to, maybe a final video, which will be bringing it all together and, and final testing. So that's, that's the general plan. Can I please encourage you, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, that way um, you'll see automatically in your subscriptions feed, especially if you have notifications turned on, when I put the other videos out for this project or I do any other videos, then you'll know about those. So please watch those. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm on Patreon and Instagram also. And so Patreon's a great way for you to support the channel, support contract, uh, content creators just like me who are making these kind of videos. And I really hope to see you, if not on the next video on this part, the next video. Bye for now.